What's going on you guys? Cameron here with another video. So with this new video, we are going to dive deep into creating a little bit more script steps so that we can do some sorting on this specific layout by itself. We can navigate back to the customer's details list or we can go to a customer's list. So we can add three more buttons here. We can make it simple and make maybe two buttons. This just gives you some more uh, experience with the script editor so you know that how powerful FileMaker really is. Um, this is just the beginner course, so you'll gain a little bit more experience as far as like that script editor and how you can create workflows to minimize repetitive tasks. So on this files list here, we're going to edit this layout again, and we are going to create a few buttons. And this button here is just going to be a sort. And all the sort is going to do is we're going to perform a script. And what we're going to do is create a new script and we're just going to sort files list. Click OK. And all we need to type is sort records with dialog off and then specify the sort order to be the customer's IDFK, which is already over there. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. So this is kind of like our own version of the default one that FileMaker gives us. And then also what we're going to create is a way of navigating to the customer's list if we want to just go there. We're going to go perform script, add a new script and say uh, view. Actually, we already have this. Oh, we only created a view customer view because what I just said there is because I thought we created the script in the script editor, but we only made the single script steps. So single script steps aren't listed here. So that's why we're recreating this again. So this new script, we're going to select that. We're going to go edit it. And this script is basically view, uh, go to layout. And the layout that we're going to go to is the list customers. So we have the files list, we can sort this list if it's not already sorted, and we can go to the customers list and then see what else we can do from there. We're gonna go to the customers list, we can go view a customer, and we can go view all records, we can go back to the customers list, we can go view a different customer, and you can see how this can go back and forth, transition really nicely. One other thing that we haven't dabbled in yet is create, you can see how this white, the white background and this gray background, why is that? Well, if we go to the script editor, you'll see that this right here is the size of the actual default window, the, the, the smallest size of window that your database will be. We're gonna undo that. Now, if you want your database to scale proportionately with the window as you're making it bigger or longer or however you're doing it, we have to set those position parameters to each object. So we have this auto resizing. So with this list view, we don't want it to hug the left, we want it to hug the right. This primary key field, we really don't even need this one. That was for testing purposes. All of these fields here will hug the left, which is fine. This portal over here will hug the left. This field will hug the left. This portal here will hug the left and right because you want this left side to hug that first portal, but you also want the right side to expand when the window expands to the right. So we're going to expand that to the right. We're going to select these two fields. We want that to hug the left and the right. We want the trash can to only hug the right. This view all button can hug only the right. These timestamps, text fields, these can hug the left, and our container field can also hug the left. Customers over here is hugging the left. So now as we exit this layout, we can test our results, and you can see how these are now expanding with the window, and you no longer have the gray on the left-hand side. But we do have the gray on the bottom, so we can go edit layout, we can select our portal list, and we can also tell it to hug the bottom. 
So now our portals will actually expand in size as the window expands in the, the, the top to bottom length. So now we can go to our list view. We can do some edits here. We can select our button, make our button hug the left or the right. And you can see how that expands with the layout as well. We can go back to our files list. We can select all of these fields and tell them to hug not only the left, but also the right. And let's say we wanted to move these buttons over to the right. We can deselect the auto sizing to the left and auto sizing to the right. So now when we go edit this and view it, we can see how all of these are scaling proportionally to the window size. But you notice that when the window size gets too small, you're going to be below the size of what you designed it. So if you double click the window, it will automatically expand to the size of the window that it can, the default window that it was originally designed in. We can go to custom list list and make sure we didn't miss anything, which I think we pretty much nailed it here. And that is one way of how to create some basic tables, some basic fields, some simple layouts, some simple list views and some calculations. Uh, please stay tuned to the last video on the closing remarks and some video description notes.